Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me this afternoon. Or this morning. Depends where you are in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, on this review, I'm out on the nice little review for you today. And I'm out on the Honda Forza 350. Very nice. Uh, first impressions, I've just jumped on. Sorry if I'm shouting. A little bit breezy. I've got a nice screen here as well. Deflecting the wind. And it seems to be doing a good job, although we're not nipping along too fast at the moment. Little button on here as well, so you can just slide that down. I think it's got about 180 millimetres of travel on this model. There's lots of mud here. Whoa. I've gone kind of the same route as I went on the last time, mate. You think I would have learned my lesson. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, going off on a bit of a tangent there. I'm out on the Forza 350 by Honda. And uh, it's the baby brother of the 750. So this one being the single si single cylinder uh, model, yeah, first impressions, very nice riding position, seats in, a, I'm in a nice comfy position on the seat, loads of room here for my feet forward, I've got my feet forward on the, on the footboards here, or you can have them beside you in the usual way, not getting any wind at all, I've got the screen fully up at the moment, like, so I'm, only doing, uh, I'm only doing low speeds at the minute, so Hello, sir. Another fellow biker out enjoying the weather. I couldn't resist coming out today uh, to bring you this review. The weather's, it's not too warm, but it, you know, it's drying the sun's out. Oh my word, look at this mud. <laughs> no issue for the Falls of 350. Got a nice display there as well, I'm looking at. First impressions of that, very crystal clear to read that. It's got a LCD display in the middle. Try the brakes out. Oh, the, brake, the brakes are very good. That rear brake's very good as well. Yeah. Got ABS as standard on here. What we like at the feet down. Yeah, not as, as I thought really. It's quite a wide bike, this one. So, uh, yeah, first thing I notice is go nice and easy here, actually. I have literally just stru jumped straight on this, so this really is a first ride impressions review today and uh, so far so good there's a uh, lot of lot of saying the lovely display there so you've got your your analog speedo on the left there and on the right you've got your rev counter and very smooth acceleration there and uh, in the center sorry yeah, in the center there you've got the loads of other information there by the looks of it uh, lcd display fuel gauge loads of fuel in there thanks honda for that um I do generally put fuel in, but it's always nice to when you first jump on these bikes that there's fuel in them. Uh, trip counter there as well, giving you your mileage. Uh, you can flick through that with your trip info B button. There you go. Total mileage, 181 miles so far, so we're going to go nice and easy today. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's not my bike, so won't be caning it. Uh, info button A, just playing, uh, yeah, changing through the cycle here, here on this trip A function there yeah i like this screen automatic screen uh i think that's been revised that actually different shape on this model from the previous model i might be wrong let me know in the comments do you own one of these oh getting a bit hot here <coughs> just wish these lights would hurry up and change and now uh, we can get rolling she's raring to go <laughs> come on learner Around you come. These lights seem to be taking ages. Fairly good visibility through them mirrors. A little bit of vibe there on the tick over. I didn't notice any vibe when we were rolling. But here we go, hold on. We go nice and steady. Yeah, overall very, very, very comfortable. Right near the airport here, looks like there's a plane now coming in to land there. Just above us up there. Some lucky buggers have been away on holiday. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent there. So yeah, anyway, button cluster. It's quite a lot, looks like there's quite a lot going on there, but I think there's, there's more there than uh, what looks a lot more complicated than what it actually is. So you've got your, your Honda selectable torque control button there. You can turn, disable that by the look of it. Uh, your screen. 
the screen, uh, what I showed you a minute ago, the screen, up and down with the screen there on the motor. What's it like over the rail crossing? That's actually very smooth, very smooth there. No issues whatsoever going over there. Uh, put this screen up a little bit, I'm getting a bit buffeted with the screen down. Button cluster here, I was saying. So on the left there, you've got your, your main beam, your high beam, and if you pass, you push that button down there. That's your screen, info button A, horn, fairly good there, nothing about, fairly good there, indicators, just below the horn there, yeah, no dramas, and there's another little button cluster here, just beneath the, the, uh, the grip there, and I think that's for your, you know, you can connect this through the connectivity to your phone, I think, so, I think that would be uh, the controls for that, maybe. On the right hand side there, the usual. So you've got your, st your, your engine kill switch there, your hazards just below it, and your engine start button just below it there. I've just put my rucksack under the seat actually before I got on the bike, and I'm telling you now straight away, there's absolutely loads of room under that seat. You'd be, you, you don't need any more room than that unless you're going to go and do a week shopping <laughs> at your local supermarket or whatever, but I'm very impressed with that so far. Yeah, a little button there for your your fuel cap release and your seat release there, just down here. Uh, you put it on, you move the switch around here. I will show you this anyway when we pull over, so don't go anywhere. So yeah, very nice, 350cc this. I think it's good probably for about, I would say, 85 mile an hour maybe. Uh, yeah. Oh, very nice. What you've also got with the, you know, with the this sort of CC scooter is you've got the confidence in over overtaking. You know, you've got the performance there. Should you need to overtake, we might have to try that out in a minute. Not at the moment. We've got a big lorry coming the other way, so <laughs> I don't fancy my chances with that, to be honest. <laughs> Overall, the, the throttle response is very smooth. Oh, the bus is turning off anyway, so he saved me the hassle. Throttle response very, 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 very smooth. Come on. I, what I do like as well, and I've said it many times before, is uh, the simplicity of riding these twist and go uh, scooters. Just so easy, you can just sit back, relax, take in the view, not think about anything else. Obviously you've got to concentrate, but no gears or clutch to worry about. I really do like that aspect. Maybe in the f in in the future, could see myself on like this. Maybe time will tell. Time will tell. Very nice to ride. But I'll I'm going to test the brakes again. Nothing behind before we get to this uh, damp surface here. Yeah, there's no issues with them brakes. Got the throttle wide open there. Pickup's lovely, take it up to 60 and then off we go. So we're up to 60 mile an hour. We're gonna take it to 60 and see what the revs are sitting at. So the revs are sitting at 6,000 there. Just under 6,000. Still no vibes through those mirrors, no vibes through the footboards really. The only thing I did notice when I stopped, so like I said, the, it's not a massively high seat, seat height on this model, but be, be, because it's so wide, you, you know, you have to spread your legs. <laughs> oh, you have to spread your legs, and uh, obviously you lose a bit of that that contact patch on the floor. Then you know, with your feet. But I'm not. I mean, I'm I'm really tucked in here. I feel like I'm not getting too much wind at all. And I think that screen's doing, doing a very good job. Like I say, I think it's been revised from uh, a pre the previous model. I mean, if I bring this screen down slightly, well, I'm starting to get the wind now. Just a couple of notches down on the screen. You can probably hear it through the microphone. There you go. That's all the way down there. So you can see the. You can probably hear the. Ease off a little bit here through the 40s. Yeah, you can probably hear the difference that screen is making in real life. You know, in real terms there. I do like the. You know, it's very visible. The the LCD display there. Very visual. You can see everything you need to see there. There's, there's no sun glare on it either, 
very good at that and that's one thing I've noticed with a lot of these Honda models now is they are they just seem to be getting better and better with that whether they've, they've kind of mastered that now maybe I mean obviously there's screen protectors available and screen gu uh, sun glare protectors I'm not sure you'd need one on this very clear but yeah I love the simplicity of, of this machine could have a lot of fun on this nice loads of room on the rear there for the the pillion loads of room be quite comfortable on the back there as well there is optional extras and accessories if you go on the Honda website there's a you know you can have a look through through that there I think it comes also in about five different colors this according to the website yeah, I do love just how smooth this uh, pickup is it's very nice and lovely to see the sun out today as well we've, we've not really seen much of that recently it's been a bit annoying really but yeah anyway if you it, it, you know if you're new to the channel consider subscribing as hopefully plenty more new models uh, reviews coming in 2022 I've uh, got some nice nice ones on the cards hopefully for the future so yeah come along for the journey uh, so anyway let me know could you could you see yourself on one of the lovely pickup there it's not snatchy at all let's slow down a little bit there actually no I, I think really that being a 350 is probably quite the sweet spot really the size very low maintenance as well I would say I think the service intervals uh, I'm pretty sure it's 8,000 miles you know, you get you get the Honda warranty as well with with uh, with all the Hondas, the new Hondas. Yeah, little cubby hole under there, I think as well. There's a USB uh, port, I think, under there as well. We'll have a little nosy in a bit. We'll run through the specs. Pull over somewhere out of the way. Off the road. So I still have to be a little bit careful. The roads are very damp not many dry patches about but that has to be expected for what we're in yeah we're still in the winter so roll on the summer roll on the summer but yeah that's something i really do like about these is uh, the comfort you could tour on it as well i would say They're quite capable i would think i'll right, turn it turn in here <clears throat> my favourite pub uh, it's not open actually <laughs> be nice to sit in the beer garden every now and then right you ain't got to worry about neutral so <clears throat> indicator off we'll turn her off actually we'll put the side stand down side stand down cut the engine there we'll turn it into the off position and we'll lock you a thorough walk around of this bike with all the specs all right so there you have it the honda 2022 honda For forza 350 which is uh electric start it's the liquid cooled four stroke single overhead cam single cylinder actually this one uh it's all tucked away under there yeah all tucked under there it's euro 5 compliant also so it's a fuel injected it's fully automatic with the uh, centrifugal clutch and the v-belt drive so yeah I, I find that very very smooth um it's that esp plus enhanced enhanced ride power plus and i quite you know i quite like i quite like this you know how smooth this bike uh, is really to be honest uh the power is 21.5 kilowatt at 7000 rpm which i think is just under 29 brake horsepower uh, the torque, if you're interested in all these figures, will give you 31.5 newton meters at two, at 5,250 rpm. So yeah, there you go. That's the figures. Uh, frame, that's a steel underbone type frame, and the bike gives 135 millimeters of ground clearance. And like I say, uh, you know the the, the actual seat height uh, on 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 the model, yeah, it's not a massive seat height. Uh, 780 millimeters but it's a fairly wide bike so you know that's something i notice myself uh 
yeah but anyway moving on curb weight is 184 kilograms so it's not too bad there really to be honest uh the wheels so on the on the front front here we've got a 15 inch wheel on the front there uh, and on the rear we have 14 inch fuel tank 11.7 litres and it's accessible through there by flicking that button on there and that'll open up um, yeah so the fuel is 11.7 litres giving actually a whopping 85 miles per gallon 29.4 uh, kilometres per litre which apparently is a, is a range of 220 mile which is yeah, a fair old, fair old range that lighting we'll turn the lights on actually we we'll turn the lights on yeah it looks nice looks nice doesn't it it's actually got them running lights on the indicators as well there so full, full led lighting all round uh on the rear as well let's have a look yeah quite nice very wide bike actually uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, it's got the Honda Smart Key, so I've got the Honda Key in my back pocket. Obviously, as long as you're in the vicinity of the bike, the bike will uh, spring into life once you start her up. Uh, colours again, like I said, it's got five, up to five colours on this on this model. So, you know, have a look on Honda's website for a full list of, you know, all these fancy names. The bike's coming in, coming in at five thousand four hundred and ninety-nine pounds, which, again, you know, not 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 badly priced at all, really. Yeah, not too badly priced there. Uh, I've just noticed we've got a centre stand down there as well. Quite quite handy that if you want, you know, for cleaning purposes. And uh, it's no chain to worry about, but uh, oil. But it's always handy to have a centre stand. Uh, suspension is a telescopic type on the front there, non-adjustable uh, as normal on these uh, sort of scooters. Unless you've got the ADV, the XADV, a sort of you know the all singing and all dancing fully adjustable suspension i think on that one rear suspension is the twin shock unit with the preload adjustment down there yeah and uh discs brake discs so you've got the rear disc is a 240 millimeter disc there probably with a nissan caliber tucked away in there yeah nissan caliber tucked away in there and the front disc is a 256 millimeter let's have a look around here yeah nissan again abs the standard you can see the ring there actually so yeah fully fitted with abs this model which most uh you know most bikes are nowadays so we'll have a little look actually come around here and we'll have a look so you switch flick this switch on the seat or feel so yeah i've got my rucksack in there at the moment but you can see the room i'll just remove that out of there you can see all the room in there loads of room toolkit tucked away in there as well we'll just come around this side loads of room. room there's definitely room for two helmets in there and stick the old rucksack back in close her down yeah well there you have it the honda forza 350 and uh yeah what a nice looking bike she is looks nice in the sun that that color and uh yeah i think we should jump on and ride some more so yeah nice little uh, cubby hole in there and i don't know if you can see but there's a usb uh plug there it actually goes down rather it's quite a deep little cubby hole that anyway let's jump on and ride some more you can't feel too much of that weight even just i think the weight is all fairly low down so no issues with that so we turn the key turn the, the switch there i think you have to pull in the rear the rear brake here we go and we're off so a nice little slow low speed manoeuvre here using the rear brake just as a bit of stability because obviously there's no clutch <laughs> yeah she soon winds open <laughs> really nice to see the sun poking through there as well really nice that nice respectful village here actually and this bike is in its element really around these little windy roads i think you could actually tour on it as well there's loads of room under the seat it's excellent on fuel economy it's not too heavy to lug about you know maneuver about when you're off the bike and there's nothing worse actually when you're oh mr postman there's nothing worse really when you're 
you know, you're trying to shuffle a bike around, a bike around out the garage or whatever, and it's just, it's just awkward. I mean, this, this is, this would be okay. This should be okay. No, no issues there. Got a little bit of wind blast there, but I think it's from uh, the side actually. <laughs> it's quite windy today. It's actually a very, very relaxing ride. To be, uh, to be honest, I used to show you about here in the road. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's got the Honda Smart key as well, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm a massive lover of uh, of that. I do like the kit, the the actual key myself and the ignition, as I've said before. Nationals. Don't want to go too crazy, doesn't? little bend up the right on the corner here which was flooded the other day so we've had a lot of rain it's actually gone down a little bit there but take it easy I like to look over the top of the screen and that's just the right height for me the, the screen is fully up and I'm five foot seven and yeah, that's perfect. I, my, that's not eye level for me, that. It won't show it on the camera, so obviously the camera's on the bottom of my helmet, but that's actually eye level, so I quite like that. I don't actually like enjoy looking through screens. And also, do, what I do like about this is the, the fact that you don't have to fiddle with it. It's all done on the, on the button cluster. It makes your life so much easier, and that's what it's all about. Simplicity. I know, I know the uh, cost comes into it, obviously, as well. And these manufacturers obviously they want to try and keep the cost of the uh, the bikes down but it's one thing i like you know i do like a little bit of technology really nice fills you with confidence i could actually sit on this i mean i've been on it on it now for well the best part of an hour i would say and there's there's still you know the seat is nice you've got a love nice little lumbar support there at the back uh, look to me like there'd be plenty of room for your pillion on the rear as well. Just go nice and easy, really. Oh, so it's not my bike anyway, so. Soon, she soon winds up to 60 without any issues. We're a little bit uphill there as well. You won't show it on the camera very well, but it's actually yeah, fairly steep there. And it just effortly, effortlessly, effortlessly, I can't even say the word. <laughs> I've gone a bit numb, it's a bit cold. Without any effort, <laughs> there you go. Climbed up the up the, uh, the incline there. Cool. Very, very like manoeuvrable as well. So, uh, you know, we're like, so we're only doing 50, between 50 and 60. It really is. Cool changes direction so it's probably those small wheels we have we got on there tiny tiny little wheels <laughs> but yeah all in, all in all very good well anyway i hope you've enjoyed the sort of first impressions review today and uh, take care hopefully i'll see you on the next video take care see you soon